Hi, welcome to another video. So, Anthropic launched the Claude Sonnet 4 and Opus 4 models yesterday, which is quite good. I have done some testing myself, and it seems to perform a tad bit better than Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is already a really superior model. But the difference is close, and I still think that Gemini is better at front-end tasks, while Claude is a tad bit better overall. I would still keep using Gemini because the price is lower, and it is better, at least for my tasks. The vibes are a bit off with these models for me, and the pricing isn't as justifiable for me, as Gemini is quite cheaper with catching. I won't recommend the Opus model as much, because I can't justify how little it brings over the Sonnet model for the price, at least for agentic coding, which is what I generally do. But they actually launched some quite cool Claude Code features as well, which I found quite interesting, and I'm mainly going to talk about that in this video. But before we do that, let me just wrap up how you can use Klein and RuCode with it, and how you can get $100 of free credits for usage as well. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Dart. Dart is the only truly AI native project management tool that you'll ever need. You can use it to manage your tasks for a project, create multiple boards, organize them, and do everything that you generally do. But you can also use AI with it to manage your tasks. For example, you can ask it to generate tasks for you by brainstorming or planning projects, as well as performing duplicate detection to keep you focused. You can even assign whole tasks to Dart and it can get them done for you. You can use their composer-like AI agent that has the context of all your tasks, and you can chat in natural language to just ask it to do something. It can delete tasks, create tasks, edit tasks and handle multiple things like that. Apart from this, you can integrate it into your AI clients or coders with its MCP server, which allows your MCP client or coder to reference tasks from your dartboards. You can even integrate it into Claude, ChatGPT, and much more. Most of the features in Dart are free, while you can also get the $8 subscription for more features. Make sure that you check Dart out through the link in the description. Now, back to the video. So, you can just go ahead and upgrade Klein and RuCode to the latest version, and then you can just go ahead and set that up accordingly. I use Requesty, and you can use that as well, because it routes between Vertex, Bedrock, and Original Anthropic for better rate limits and everything, which is great. You also get $5 of free credit there, but you can also get free $100 credits to use as well if you use Kilo Code. So, KiloCode is giving out $100 of free credits that you can use by just signing up on their event site, and you'll get $100 credit that you can use throughout the weekend. It will be only available for the weekend. So, you can use that accordingly, and use both Opus 4 and Sonnet 4, as well as all the models on KiloCode for free, which is quite awesome. So, you can use this as well accordingly. I have tested both the models, and they are really good. But you can try it yourself, and check out with Kilo Code as well. Also, just so you know, the outages on Claude's API are pretty wild. Like, Opus is at something like 15% reliability, which is almost not usable, while Sonnet is fine. But it is also heavily rate limited. Kylo Code fixes it because it routes to whatever provider is able to fulfill the request, similar to Requesty and Open Router. But yeah, you will encounter some rate limits for sure. I don't know why Anthropic can't figure out their infrastructure. Anyway, now I want to talk about the new Claude GitHub agent, which is actually really cool. So, what is the Claude GitHub agent? Well, it is basically a bot in GitHub that uses Claude code and can basically achieve tasks that you assign it in something like a PR or an issue and just let it work. It's technically quite similar to OpenAI's Codex or Jules, but it is more integrated into GitHub itself. I found it quite cool, and there is also some pretty minor but good stuff in Claude code as well, which I also want to talk about. So. 
First of all, make sure that you upgrade Claude code to the latest version. And now we can just open it up. Now, when you open it up in something like VS Code, then you'll see that it will automatically install a VS Code extension called Claude Code that will now basically integrate Claude Code and VS Code in a way that will allow you to see the diff views of what Claude Code is proposing in VS Code itself, similar to how any VS Code extension like Klein works. Plus, after it has installed, you will see this Claude icon at the top, which you can just click, and this will just open up Claude code in a terminal. But you can keep it in a different layout than the general terminal, which is quite good, and it almost makes it a VS Code extension now, which is awesome. So, I can send a simple message here, and you can see that the diff view immediately opens and just gives you the stuff to use. I liked it a lot, and it works amazingly well. Plus, it's also much faster now from what I feel. This is also available in JetBrains, if you use that. I would really like a Z integration that does the same, as that would be awesome, because the memory footprint of that is super low, and that would be kinda cool for sure. Also, you can use Claude 4, mostly unlimited with Claude code, with the $100 plans, which is a really worth it plan if you ask me, though I haven't tried it myself. And some people say that the context gets limited or something, but I'm not sure, and it seems like a good one. So, this is good, but there's another thing in Claude Code, and that is the GitHub integration. So, Claude Code now has an SDK meaning that you can now integrate it in your applications and use Claude code in your programs to do something similar to Ader's SDK as well. Anyway, so to demo that off, they made a GitHub integration that uses that in the back end. So to install the GitHub bot in your repo, you can just run the install GitHub app command in Claude code, and it will ask you to install it in GitHub, which you can just do. Once done, you can now use it accordingly. So, to use it, you can either do it in an issue or in a pull request. Like, here I have an issue, and here we can just mention Claude, and then write what we want it to do. Like here, I want it to just accomplish and fix this issue for us, and in just a bit, you'll see that it gets started on it, and the animation and stuff here is quite good, and in just a bit, it gets done, and you can see the diff of what it has done here. And this looks pretty good for sure. This is basically how it works. And in theory, it is very similar to something like Codex and stuff. It uses GitHub Actions for the VM and stuff. So, if you're on the free GitHub tier, then there are limits on that. But if you are a pro member, then the actions should be fine. And the code and example of it is also open source, and you can use it accordingly and see how you can also install it in your CI or CD workflows as well, which is also cool. And you can also integrate it to automatically trigger and stuff like that. It also works amazingly well. So, these are the major things about it. The models are good, and I liked these Claude Code upgrades as well. And I also thought to talk about the free $100 credits by Kilo Code that should be great for you guys to try out. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.